hello. I've had somebody ask like where I'm at, what my plan is, what where what I'm doing right now. Um, so I emailed my chronometer to myself. Um, so let me just give you a little bit because I know I've got several new people and I just want to do a video for you to tell you where I've been and where I started and all that. So when I started in August of 2017, I was 330 pounds and I started off, I did keto for two months. And what I did was I followed dietdoctor.com. I followed their recipes. I would pick one meal and have, have it for supper and, and then half of it, half of the I made two servings, so one serving for supper, and then the other serving was for, I had for lunch the next day. Um, and so that's what I did for two months. And then I fell on to carnivore, and I started eating about two pounds of meat every day, um, and I did that for 22 months. Um, <clears throat> so, and so I had lost 26, 26-ish pounds. I can't remember the exact numbers. 26 pounds um, during the two months of keto. And then um, after the 22 months, I had lost 92 pounds total. Um, the last eight months of those 22 months, the last eight months of that time frame, I stalled. So I, I was like, okay, I need to reset. I need to do something different. Um, <clears throat> so I started looking at what my calories were and, um, of course, obviously with just meat, my carb count was low. So I looked at my calories and I'm like, okay, I don't want this to be drastic. So I started off with, and I think it was around 2,200 calories a day and I fell onto Kim Howerton. Um, I know some people are, are like just 20 carbs a day. That's all you got to worry about. Well, some bodies are different and mine was different. Um, <clears throat> so because I was eating less carbs, but I stopped losing weight. So anyway, I went to about, you know, if you go back to my older videos, it was like a, about a year and a half ago. Um, I added vegetables back, but I wanted bulk. So I looked at about 2000, I think 1800 calories. I looked at what I needed to eat for that. And I used, um, 93% ground beef and I figured out what I needed, um, for three meals a day and have you know vegetables and and for a while I was even adding yogurt so I was eating around 1800 calories a day um, and I did that for a little while and then I noticed that I was slowly not losing again so then I dropped down to 16 um, <clears throat> so the way I've done it is around 20 calories um, or 20 carbs um, if I'm a little over a little under I don't freak out um, I don't really watch fat or, um, or protein because, you know, eating the amount of meat I do, I, I don't think, I don't worry about it. Um, and so, you know, so like I said, I plug in chronometer right now. I'm anywhere between 14 to 1500 ish calories a day. Um, <clears throat> and so that's, it's kind of been my personal journey. I think each person needs to see where they're at. And if you're just starting, just plug in what you're eating and don't change a thing, you know. Um, <clears throat> then start shopping in the outer aisles and just eat whole meats, whole vegetables, and, um, and you know, see how you can get just a little under the calories you're eating and make that your process you know because i can't i can't tell you you should eat this amount of calories this amount of carbs and and it worked for you um <clears throat> because so many people were able to do carnivore and just get down to 120 pounds but that didn't work for me so anyway so right now like i said i'm i'm around 20 to 30 carbs i don't really look or count fat or protein i do have them plugged into chronometer but not because that's my goal and i don't even look at them to see what it should be um honestly I, i'm comfortable with what i'm eating <clears throat> i did watch a video not too long ago about um it was at something keto person, Stephanie keto person. She was talking to uh, Kelly Hogan and they were talking about uh, more higher fat. So I did switch over to 73% fat um, meat 
and it did kind of kick me into weight loss again. Um, not that I ever stopped losing weight, but I was kind of, one week I'd lose none, next week I'd lose one, one week I'd lose none, next week two. So it, was, it wasn't steady. Um, but as soon as I added back, uh, added the extra fat, it started kicking in again. So, <clears throat> where I'm at right now, I guess, um, if you look at my chronometer, and I'm, I'm eating about 14 um, ounces of 73% every day with a couple servings of vegetables and, um, and my protein coffee. And um, so, that's where I'm at right now. Um, what I've been looking at for the future is, um, like... When I lose these last two pounds, I'm hanging on till I lose them pounds. Um, I've kind of played around with chronometer and I'm going to start off around 1800 ish calories. So I'm going to up it a little bit and see that for a couple, you know, a couple weeks, a month, see whatever happens. Um, <clears throat> my plan is to, of course, continue the coffee. And then I'm thinking I'm going to add a just a one of those yogurt containers, just the individual pack, individual yogurt cup container that you buy at the store. I'm thinking of adding those when I drink my coffee in the morning, kind of like um, I had a half of one this morning, but um, and just kind of make that my breakfast routine. <clears throat> and then um, look at I plugged in nine ounces of ground beef um, at lunch and nine ounces at supper, and that. Um, let's see. And then I've also plugged in some vegetables. Again, this is just a play in thing. Um, like two servings or two, you know, breakfast for or vegetables at lunch and vegetables at supper. Um, and so it all averaged out to around 1850. So I figure for a few weeks, I'll do that and kind of watch the scale and see if I'm, see if I'm maintaining, if I'm going down, because I don't want to keep going down. I want to gradually add enough calories to what's going to help me stabilize. So my plan is I'm thinking around nine ounces of meat, whether it's um, the fatty beef or I've got some pulled pork. So, or if it's pulled pork, whatever fatty meat I'm going to use, um, I'm going to try just nine ounces. So then I don't have to think in there about it. I'll just do nine ounces and grab one container at lunch and one container at supper. I don't have to differentiate which one's which. It would just be a lot easier if they all are the same and then just add whatever vegetables I'm craving that day. So that's kind of my thought process on where I feel like I'm going to go. Although that's what I'm thinking today and tomorrow it may change. But <clears throat> that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to slowly start adding calories back because I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know, you know, what's going to be enough to maintain. I don't know what's going to have me still losing. So um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll after the last two pounds are going, I plan on adding back about going up to about <clears throat> 1850. 1800 ish calories a day and then like I said from there I may end up needing more um depending on what's going on so but that's kind of my thought process is going from 14 ounces a day of meat to 18 you know me and math going up to 18 ounces of meat a day and just seeing seeing what that does so that's adding four extra ounces of fatty meat a day and then who knows in the end it may be 10 10 ounces um of of fatty meat a day um i, I like the fatty meat i like how i feel i like how it you know my body feels i like how i go to the bathroom but um anyway so that's kind of where i'm at and what i'm thinking today again it may change tomorrow but yeah just wanted to update you because somebody asked where I'm at and what I'm doing and like I said I, I just slowly worked my calories down to where I was losing two pounds <clears throat> one to two pounds every week and I've had to adjust it along the way and like I said I don't really focus on the protein and fat I just make sure I'm in I, I shoot for 20 anywhere from zero to 30 carbs a day anywhere in there and um and like I said I, I look more at the calories right now so there you go that's where i'm at and i'll see you guys in my next video this is an example of how my macros look right now in chronometer this is an example of how my macros could look when i reach maintenance